Okay, so in the previous video, I've shown you how to use this quick chart to recreate all these sugars on this big chart right here. But instead of memorizing this, on the actual exam, all you really need is this teeny tiny one, okay? Now I'm going to show you how to do it um, to recreate this during the exam uh, quick, okay? Now all you have to remember is HOH is at the top which is the esteraldehyde, and it is that HOH is the same thing on each row, okay? You start with that on each row. So there are three rows here. So HOH, and then it flips into OHH here. So glyceraldehyde splits into two, so there are two um, columns on the next row, and then the erythro splits into two again, so it's in the power of two. So there's four columns on the third row, and that's ribose, arabinose, cellulose, and lixose. And then on the end, you get eight rows. So it's um, each one of these is uh, split into two. And then that's it. Now to memorize the names, all you have to remember, well for me, what I remembered was on the second row, it is alphabetical, E before T. So E erythros will be on the left side, three rows will be on the right side. And then on the third row, it's anti-alphabetical. Ribose first, so R, it's anti, okay, anti. It's not like the second row. So the third row, it's anti. Ribose first, R, and then arabinose A, xylose, lixose. Same pattern here on threeos, so xylose first. Xylose is on the left side, lixose is on the right side. And then on the very last row, you see allose here. First, and then altrose on the left side, glucose, glucose, glucose on the right side, and glucose on the left side, mannose on the, no, yeah, mannose on the right side, gulose on the left side, idose on the right side, galactose on the left side, talos on the right side. So that's it. Um, what else do I have to say? Yeah, so I'm going to show you how to recreate it on the exam. So the professor gives you a scratch paper. This is what you do. You put the HOH of glyceraldehyde first. So you know this is glyceraldehyde. You know that already. You don't have to write the name here. And then that splits into two. It becomes an HOH here. Right? Right here. It becomes erythros and then three O's. OHH or three O's here and then so that's second row this one switches into two again into two again and then you start with the HOH pattern and then it flips and then HOH again and then it flips again and then here you write the name on the second in the second row of the glass aldehyde remember erythros first and then three O's here. And then here, erythros. Under erythros, it is anti alphabetical, so ribose first. Arabinose here. Um, Silos first. Under three O's. And then lixos last. Okay. So ribose divides into two again, arabinose divides into two, salos divides into two, lixus divides into two. So right, start with the HOH pattern first, and then OHH, and then HOH, and then OHH, HOH, OHH, HOH, and then another OHH. It's not going to be pretty during the exam because obviously you're going to be time pressured and everything's going to be a mess, but hopefully this framework will help you, okay? So let's do alphabetical again. So allos first, before altros, and then, uh, what is this, glucose, before mannose, and then here it is gulos before idos and then galactose for talos okay 
Now, you could imagine if I was writing with pen, it'll be a lot easier for me to read and it's not an actual exam. I'm just showing you how I recreate this, this table here when I am asked to do this, <laughs> which is during an exam. Um, I did this on the final and also during the exam where carbohydrates were a part of it. And I'm just going to say that I'm not really good at pronouncing these names. I don't know if I mispronounced some of them, but the thought is that you memorize it and that's the only important thing about this whole thing, really. Um, so next thing I'm going to show you is the L conformation of the sugars or the monosaccharides. Hold on, I'm running out of paper. So basically, if you are asked to do the L conformation, I'm just going to use this big chart here. So as you see, if you can see, um, uh, so as you can see, the uh, OH here on glyceraldehyde is on the right side, and this is the building block for every single sugar down the road. Now, if you can see that the last chiral carbon on each of the monosaccharides here, if if that is flipped, okay. What I'm trying to say here is that if if on let's say arabinose, H O, um, H O, H, and then H, and then an O H, H and O H on the right side, and then you see C H two O H. So if this very last carbon right here is not in that orientation, or the OH is on the left side. That means that it's in the L conformation. Okay, look for that. If the very last chiral carbon is on the left side, that is in the L conformation. So all of those, see that? All of them are on the right side. That means they're in the D form. Another thing about the L conformation is that that is not the only thing that is flipped on the sugar. So if you want to do the L um, conformation of arabinose, so that's that, right? It is actually the mirror image of this. Okay, so as you can see, these are on the right side. So on the L conformation, the OH will be on the left side. And then that will be flipped too. That will be on the right side. And the aldehyde group here. So this, although not neat, is actually the mirror image of this. Okay, so as you can see here, it's on, these two OHS is on the right side. Here it's on the left side. Here it's on the left side, but here it's on the right side. So basically, it's the mirror image. Okay, mirror image of the D family of uh, what do you call this monosaccharides, and that will be your L confirmation. So if your professor asks you to draw the L confirmation, all you have to do is to mirror form. And that's it. I'm going to cut this short and then I'm going to do another video, um, an exam type one.